U.S. Patriot Pac-3 vs. Russia's S-400 Triumph In the arena of modern warfare, missile defense systems represent a crucial element in ensuring national security and maintaining strategic balance. Among the forefront of these technologies stand the U.S. Patriot Pac-3 and Russia's S-400 Triumph systems. Renowned for their advanced capabilities, they serve as pivotal assets in their respective countries' defense arsenals. Understanding the intricacies and comparative aspects of these systems is not only vital for military analysts and defense strategists but also for anyone interested in the dynamics of global security and technological advancements in defense. This analysis aims to dissect and compare these two state-of-the-art systems, offering a comprehensive view of their technical specifications, operational capabilities, and strategic implications. Technical Specifications of the Patriot Pac-3 the Patriot system, developed by the United States, has its roots in the late 20th century, designed initially as an anti-aircraft missile system. Over the years, it evolved to address a broader range of threats, including ballistic missiles. The Pac-3, Patriot Advanced Capability 3, is the latest and most advanced iteration, boasting significant improvements over its predecessors in terms of accuracy, range, and target detection. The Pac-3 system incorporates cutting-edge technology, including a high-performance radar, advanced fire control system, and enhanced interceptor missiles. These missiles are equipped with a hit-to-kill capability, designed to directly strike and destroy incoming threats, a significant leap from the explosive warheads used in earlier versions. This precision significantly reduces the risk of collateral damage and increases the system's effectiveness against a wide array of aerial threats. One of the PAC-3's defining features is its operational range. While exact figures are often classified, open sources suggest it can intercept targets at a range of approximately 35 kilometers and at altitudes up to 24 kilometers. This capability positions the Pac-3 as a medium-range defense system, suitable for defending high-value targets against a variety of aerial threats. In terms of deployment, the Pac-3 system is highly mobile and can be rapidly deployed to various locations. This mobility is a crucial factor in modern warfare, allowing for quick adaptation to changing threat landscapes and providing protection to both fixed and expeditionary forces. An Overview of Russia's S-400 Triumph Russia's S-400 Triumph, known domestically as the SA-21 Growler, represents a significant leap in Russian air defense capabilities. Developed in the late 1990s and early 2000s, the S-400 was designed to replace older systems and counter a wide range of aerial threats, including aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The S-400 system boasts an array of impressive features. Its radar can track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, offering a considerable advantage in high-threat environments. The system is capable of engaging targets at ranges up to 400 km and altitudes up to 30 km, significantly outperforming the Pac-3 in terms of coverage area. The S-400's versatility is further highlighted by its ability to use different types of interceptor missiles, each designed for specific ranges and types of targets. This multi-tiered approach allows for a layered defense, capable of countering a diverse range of threats at various distances. The S-400's deployment strategy reflects its role as a long-range defense system. It is often positioned to protect strategic locations and can be integrated into a broader air defense network, enhancing overall situational awareness and defensive capabilities. The S-400 has also become a significant export product for Russia, with several countries expressing interest or already acquiring the system. This proliferation has strategic implications, potentially altering regional power balances and influencing geopolitical dynamics. Comparative Analysis of the Pac-3 and S-400 Systems A crucial aspect of modern defense systems is their ability to integrate into a broader military architecture. The Pac-3, being part of the broader Patriot system, seamlessly integrates with NATO's defense infrastructure. This interoperability is vital for joint missions and collective defense scenarios. In contrast, the S-400, designed primarily for Russian defense architecture, has shown adaptability in integrating with the defense systems of its international buyers, though it may not be as seamless as NATO's integrated defense network. The response time of a missile defense system is critical in countering fast-moving threats. The Pac-3 system is renowned for its quick reaction capability, enabling it to effectively counter short-range ballistic missiles and other fast threats. 
The S-400, while also capable of rapid response, is more optimized for detecting and engaging threats at longer ranges, giving it a different kind of operational edge. In terms of mobility, both systems are designed for quick deployment. However, the Pac-3, given its smaller footprint and emphasis on protecting maneuvering forces, is often seen as more mobile and versatile in terms of rapid deployment and redeployment. The radar systems of both the Pac-3 and S-400 are marvels of modern engineering. The Pac-3 employs the AN-MPQ-65 radar, capable of tracking and engaging multiple targets simultaneously. Its phased array radar provides a 360-degree coverage and is highly effective in a fast-paced, dynamic combat environment. The S-400, on the other hand, uses a multifunction radar system with a wider range and the ability to track and engage stealth targets, giving it an edge in detecting low-observable aircraft and missiles. The interceptor missiles used in both systems are designed for different operational needs. The Pac-3's MSE, Missile Segment Enhancement, interceptors are smaller, allowing for more missiles to be loaded onto a single launcher, which is advantageous in scenarios with a high volume of incoming threats. The S-400's range of missiles, including the long-range 40N6E missile, offers greater flexibility to engage targets at varying distances, making it a more versatile system in terms of target engagement. The advanced capabilities of the Pac-3 and S-400 have implications for the global arms race. Countries seeking to bolster their defenses or gain a strategic edge are increasingly interested in acquiring these systems. This trend can exacerbate regional tensions and lead to an arms race, particularly in volatile regions. The export of these systems also carries significant diplomatic and economic weight. For instance, the sale of the S-400 to countries like India and Turkey has not only altered regional power balances but also affected diplomatic relations with other nations, including the United States. Similarly, the deployment of Pac-3 systems by the US and its allies is often seen as a strategic move to strengthen alliances and deter potential adversaries. Each system, with its unique capabilities and limitations, plays a pivotal role in the defense strategy of its respective nation. As global dynamics evolve and new threats emerge, the continued development and deployment of such advanced missile defense systems will significantly influence international security and military strategy. Conclusion the U.S. Patriot Pac-3 and Russia's S-400 Triumph are not just mere defense systems. They are embodiments of technological prowess and strategic thinking in modern warfare. While they serve similar purposes in missile defense, their differences in range, capabilities, and deployment strategies reflect the distinct military doctrines and strategic objectives of the United States and Russia. As the world navigates an era of sophisticated aerial threats, Understanding these systems is crucial for grasping the complex tapestry of global security and the ongoing evolution of military technology. Until next time, take care.